How to deal more damage in the early game in Hypixel Skyblock. This is the full guide on how you can increase your damage in the early game stage of the game. We will go over the right armor, weapons, item upgrades and basically everything else. A lot of items have a skill level requirement, meaning that you can't use them unless you have at least a skill level. That's why when we talk about such an item I will also present you a suitable alternative. The only three stats we need to focus on for damage are crit chance, crit damage and strength. Our main task is to bring crit chance to 100% and the amount of crit damage and strength should be as equal to each other as possible. You can see how much crit chance, crit damage and strength you have by holding your main weapon in your hand, then pressing E to open your inventory, clicking on the skyblock menu and hovering over your skyblock profile with your mouse pointer. Talisman. I have already made a full accessory guide on this channel, you can watch it right here in the corner if you want to, but for those who are new, I will explain it briefly. The more magical power you have, the better stats you get. If you now go to this NPC right here called Maxwell in the hub, right click him and then click on the stick named Commando. This is the best option for the early game to maximize your damage. Armor. And with armor there are many options depending on how far in the game you are. Let's start with the worst, rock bottom. The best option here is Glacite Armor, which has no requirements whatsoever and can be bought in the full set for just 400,000 coins in the auction house. We will discuss later why Glacite Armor is so good for dealing damage even though it has neither crit damage or strength. The next better armor is the Ender Armor. This armor has a combat level 12 requirement. Unlike the Glacite Armor, it cannot be bought in the auction house but is dropped by Enderman in the end. Each armor piece has a 1% drop chance, which sounds very little at first but is actually quite good. Why Ender Armor you ask? This one doesn't give any extra damage either. See, the thing with Ender Armor is that all stats that this armor brings are doubled in the end island. This makes farming Enderman very easy and Enderman give a lot of combat XP because for the next armor we need combat level 16. Strong Dragon Armor. Strong Dragon Armor also costs a little more. The whole set is about 2.5 million coins in the auction house. Weapons. Here again are three different options. We will start with the Raider's Axe. This weapon has no requirements and can be bought for about 160,000 coins in the auction house. Use the Raider's Axe until you're in the end and have all the pieces of Ender Armor. In that case, you have to go to this NPC right here on the end spawn. I've already done all the quests so he is gone for me, but he will be there for you and sell you a Void Sword for 200,000 coins. This Void Sword gives you plus 20 strength for each piece of Ender Armor you wear. If you're in the end, you should continue to use this setup. In the overworld, on the other hand, the weapon to use is the Blade of the Volcano. This weapon costs only 80,000 coins in the auction house, but sadly has a combat level 25 for requirements, so keep that in mind. Pets. And there are really only two options here for the early game, and that are the Griffin and the Enderman. Although the Griffin is much better and costs only slightly more. Other equipment. If you have the money, you can also buy a spooky cupcake from the auction house for around 100,000 coins and give it to your pet as a pet item. The cupcake gives you an extra 30 strength and 20 speed. You can give it to your pet with right clicking while you have the pet equipped. When you open your skyblock menu, click on your skyblock profile, you will see 4 equipment slots on the left side of your armor. I will explain now how we get the right items here. The ender necklaces have a 0.5% chance to drop from endermen. Ender clothes have a 1% chance to be dropped by watchers in the dragon's nest. Ender belts are dropped by obsidian defenders by about 1% of the time. Ender gauntlets on the other hand were completely different. When you walk through the end you will see these ender nodes from time to time. These are end stone or obsidian blocks with particles around them. If you don't see them it's either because you're not playing in the Minecraft version 1.8 or you have disabled particles in your Minecraft settings. If you break those blocks you have a 3% chance to get a ender gauntlet. In fact you can get all kinds of things from it. It's a good money making method for the early game actually and I've already made a complete video about this a while ago. Reforges. And now comes the point why we only use use ender equipment and why glacite armor is so good. Reforges give more stats the higher the rarity of the item is. There are two ways to reforge, either with a blacksmith in the hub or with the advanced reforging system and reforge stones in the dungeon hub. The armor is reforged to fierce. To do this you re-reforge the item until you have fierce in the blacksmith. The sword must be set to spicy. There are two different options for the equipment, both with reforge stones and the advanced reforge system. Either with a searing stone on strengthened or if you have still problems getting 100% crit chance with blaze wax and unwaxed. Both reforges require mining skill level 24. If you want to see more videos just like this one then click on the subscribe button. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.